It is Drake Day, bitches. <laughs> I, I cannot take anything seriously with me with this mask on but you would think I'm going to fucking prom the way that I'm getting ready for this like fully self tanned full body shower last night and today like I'm wearing a face mask where I can barely fucking talk like I nails it like you would actually think I'm going to prom the way that I'm actually about the show. but I am but I am going to prom anyways not really I'm just like going to see Drake I fucking love him I have to I did Pilates this morning I got my coffee I like stopped at the store and now I'm just like I'm mentally preparing like I don't know how to talk to you I don't know how to ask oh my god self tanner hands like a top 10 horrid moment but whatever um it's like kind of frightening watching me like talk with this mask. I'm gonna let this sit ready. You'll see me get ready on TikTok here, 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 whatever. But it's Drake Day, you guys. I am so excited. Like, Sissy and I are both just like so fucking excited. Just I'm like texting Nicole at the same time. And like, the, mo the main thing like I'm worried about tonight is the fact that like Drake's gonna fall in love with me. Like, he's gonna fall in love with me. And how am I gonna tell him like I'm not fucking tonight? Like, I'm just not fucking like Drake. Like, I get it. Like, you're Drake. But like, I don't. You know, like, I just don't do casual sex. Like, I'm not gonna pop my pussy open for you just because you're, like, Drake. Like, that's just not gonna happen, babe. Like, it's just not. <laughs> Flash forward me getting railed. Like, I'm like, Drake's gonna fall in love with me. Like, Drake's gonna fall in love with me. And I just love that. And mind you, wait, I was, like, dying at Nicole's responses. Because, like, if anyone feeds into my delusion so much, it is Miss Nicole. She goes, no, literally, Drake needs to understand that you have that boundary. Like, he needs to respect that. I'm like, no, but, like, he does. Like, he needs to respect the boundaries. And mind you, I told Sissy, I was like, if you're not going to be absolutely delusional with me, you're not coming to Drake with me, bitch. Like, I get ch like I get to pick who comes to Drake. It won't be you, bitch, if you're not going to be delusional. I wish Nicole was going with me. I'm not going to lie. I wish she was going so bad, but she's packing up her life to move. So, this is, like, scary. Like, I can't keep talking to you guys like this because, like, I'm frightened. So, I'll see you when I'm getting ready for Drake Day. On today's episode of Libby's Fucking Crazy, like I did make one of my hoes send me a dick pic just to be like, we're literally friends. Like we're never gonna be anything more. Like we're just friends. Like can you relax? And yeah, so like I'm nuts. Anyways, I'm gonna do, God damn, my phone's blowing up. Who the fuck is texting me? Better be a hot motherfucker. You guys, we're almost at Madison Square Garden. This is my full look. I'll insert pics and stuff. We've just been in a rush. Because running you. yeah because i had to get, get the perfect like instagram photo so we're on our way and i'm so excited we have like we don't do concerts so we have nothing we have like yeah. no expectations which i think is good besides the fact that we both think he's gonna fuck us that's the only one i just got back from drake <laughs> and i'm in my fucking feels about it and like okay like honestly like i'm not kidding you i want to cry because I feel like the luckiest girl in the world. Like, I literally kid you not, I feel like the luckiest girl in the world. SeatGeek sent Sissy and I to Drake. Like, me specifically. Because Sissy wasn't going to make a fucking TikTok about it. Anyways, but SeatGeek sent me to Drake. And I got to bring Sissy. And Sissy, since Drake's tickets came out, we were like, wait, we have to go. Like, we have to go. And so to go... Mind you, we had no idea we were in the pit. We had no idea we were on the floor. And just to, like... I don't know. That is just the most insane night that I've ever had. I'm like beyond grateful. Yeah. <sighs> There's no words to it. I genuinely just feel like the luckiest girl in the world. And thank you to Seek Geek. But like honestly, I was about to be like, fuck Seek Geek. Not fuck Seek Geek. Thank you so much, Seek Geek, because like that was incredible. Thank you to you guys, because I would not be doing this. I would not be seeing Drake. I would not be doing these things if it was not for you. And there's not a day that goes by where I'm not the most grateful girl in the world that I get to live out my dream. And like, honestly, you guys, I am so happy and I'm so fucking content with the life that I have of just like posting the TikToks and like just with you guys, you know what I mean? Like, fuck the events, fuck those things. Like, you know, fuck the Drake concerts, but like, besides the fact that I love the man, I just to be able to do what I do every day is such a blessing in itself. Like, absolutely insane. So to have these opportunities that come with it that, like, SeatGeek is able to send me to 
the fucking Drake concert at Madison Square Garden, like opening night of his Madison Square Garden is the most insane thing ever. There's there's not a day that'll go by that I'm just like, mm, yeah, like SeatGeek's sending me to like Madison Square Garden, like as they should. Like, no, thank you SeatGeek, but thank you guys because none of this would be possible without you guys. And like, I'm in my feels right now because I'm just like so fucking emotional. It was insane. Like. It's so funny because I see all the influencers like, get ready with me for Taylor Swift. And I'm over here like, send me to Drake and 21 Savage and I'm a happy bitch. But I'm just, I'm literally so grateful. There's not enough, there's not enough times I can say grateful to even describe that. And I just want you guys to know, not a second or a day goes by where I think this shit is normal. And I think I'm just like, oh yeah, like, <laughs> okay, I have over a million. Like, why would I not? You know, like, why would, why would they not? Like, no, I know my life is insane. I know my life is, I'm extremely blessed. And I'm so grateful. It's just so emotional. I truly am so emotional. Cause like, that's a dream. Who the fuck gets to see Drake like that? I don't know, I wanted to decompress that for a minute of just like the gratitude I feel and the love that I feel from all you guys. It's insane. And like just looking at the week I have ahead of me, I'm like, holy fuck. I cannot believe my life. I think I'm the luckiest girl in the world. Hey, I mean, so Tim and I are spending a night at a hotel with a brand and we're literally, you guys, sitting here talking and being like, we're so stressed, like we have so much to do today. <laughs> Our life is too hard. As I'm literally sitting in bed, I'm like drinking my iced coffee. I'm like, ugh, oh, I have to edit. And I'm like ordering a bagel. Like, get, we have to get our lives together. It's actually too funny. Cause like then, it, literally the second we step foot in that hotel, it's like vlog, 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 ha, ha. And then it's like, get ready. Like, get fucking right. ready. Right. Cause yesterday I thought I gave myself so much time to get ready. I gave myself no time because I had to edit. And I had to do so many other things. You know, I'm gonna have to. Pack all my makeup, like, oh. I'm packing laptop, I'm packing everything. Brett, um, bring your camera. Okay, I am just exhausted to say the least, you guys. I'm just a tired girly. Like, best night ever, though. Drake! Um, I've been on the phone all morning with everybody, just being like, it was insane. It was a crazy concert. But okay, next day, moving forward, and just a crazy experience, all in all, like just absolutely insane. Moving forward, we have a lot to do today. One, I need a bagel. Bitch needs a fucking bagel. I really do just need a bagel very badly. I need to go get a bagel. Then I have to come back here, pack, because Tiff is sending us to us, by us I mean literally me, and Timmy's coming along with me, um, to a hotel, and we're spending the night, and then there's a huge dinner, and I'm really excited, because it's like a little staycation vibe, and that's gonna be amazing. And so we have to pack for all of that shit, which is like, I'm like, Livy, don't bring a suit, Livy, do not bring a suitcase, but like, it's one night, but I'm like, mm, I really want to. But I have to pack my hair, my makeup, everything, which is a lot of shit, so we're packing. And then I have to edit the vlog of the Drake concert. I have to get that up. And then I have to, <laughs> I have to write podcast episode for Tim. But mind you, it is 11.30. This all needs to be done by like 3.30 p.m. And honestly, I think I'll just write the podcast episode later. I just need to vlog and pack and all those things. And I was like, I want to work out. But at the same time, I'm sore as shit. I know I do kind of still want to work out. We'll figure something out. I was like, it'll take me 15 minutes to edit that vlog, bitch. It took me an hour, and now I'm so tired, but we gotta pack, gotta get our shit together. Get to the hotel. I'm really annoyed right now because Tim is like not even answering my phone calls, and I was like, be at my apartment by 3 p.m. It's 3.30. I have my little eye patches on, which I need to like get rid of immediately, but we're headed to the hotel. And I, I need a coffee and I'm like manifesting that my hotel room has a bathtub. I know nothing about the hotel rooms. I know not I know nothing at all, honestly, besides the event that we're going to. So I need that and I need a moment to like breathe in the hotel room before I can like start getting ready. Do I get ready with me? All those things. You updated if I ever hear from Tim, because at this point I he's late because he's getting his nails done. Because he's getting his fucking nails done. I've never been more annoyed in my life. 
but we're fine. It's okay. We're gonna have such a good night, so it doesn't even matter that I wanna punch him in the face right now. So I'm taking my ass to the standard. Oh, yeah, I guess I can tell you guys that now. Because this is so cute. I can't. How do I open this? <gasps> no, because the view is shut up, you guys. Wait, why am I going to cry? I look like a little boy right now. <gasps> no, you're going to die when you guys see this. Shut the fuck up. Not that just like being New York City. Hold on. No! We're in luxury, babe. We're in luxury. Wait, also, like, look at this, you guys. Welcome to. You guys, champagne! I can't believe it. Okay, wait, let me see what Rachel and Christian said. They said, Welcome to the Sander Highline, Livy. Looking forward to hosting you for dinner tonight. And boom, until then, kick back, throw your do not disturb, and enjoy your private hours. <laughs> The only thing I'm concerned about is this bed and like Tim's gonna piss me off with the bed and like I know that. Shut the fuck up. This is absurd. Okay, let's do a little room tour. I know I need to take this case off. Ugh. Shut up. Wait, you know who I have to FaceTime? I have to FaceTime my mother. You're gonna die when you see the room I'm staying in. Wait, wait, you're gonna tell Sissy that Drake's people. I saw what you said about Drake's people. You're gonna die when you see it. Look at this. Hey, wait, look. Where are you, Liv? I'm at the stand. Wait, look, and look what they gave me. And they were like, welcome to the standard high line. Looking forward to hosting you tonight. Isn't, right this is just cool. With you. No, I'm going to drink Sissy it. With you? No, Sissy's not with me. Invite her. It's me and Tim, Mom. I Sissy got Drake last night. It's Tim and I tonight. Like, no, I'm like the luckiest girl in the world. I don't think you get it. Like, this is just. Like, you count your blessings. I am. So you were thinking the Lord yesterday when you were getting your crosses. Okay. I like can't. I'm vlogging and she keeps talking about Jesus, you guys. Who's there? Nobody's there. The vlog. The vlog's here. It's me and my vlog. I should have honestly just came alone. Like, it's so nice here. I just keep your feet firmly planted on the ground, my love. Trying my hardest. Love you. Love you. <laughs> what a week. This is the most insane thing I've ever seen in my life. All right, vlog, I'm gonna go get coffee and then we'll talk then and I'm gonna take a big bath. Okay, got my coffee. As you can hear, the bath is going. Guys, I have not taken a bath in years and I just love baths overall and putting honey in my coffee. I just like love, I was like repulsive. I just love a good, I love a good bath. So I'm really excited to be able to take a fucking bath. It's like the little things. New York apartments, you get really nothing, especially for what I'm dealing with now. So I'm just so excited to like be taking a bath and drinking my iced honey oat latte with this fucking view. You guys, this poor man, this poor man is like knocking on my door. I'm like, I'm in the bathtub. Like what the fuck does one do when she's in the bathtub? He's like, we have a gift for you. <laughs> what is the gift? From us to you. All right. Privacy, please. Okay, I love a good hoodie that says privacy, please. Are we kidding? That's so cute. Then I got, oh, shut up. <gasps> Not my robe. <gasps> they gave me a robe. It looks like I'm fully nude doing this. I don't care. <laughs> Let me sleep. Oh, and this is who we're here with. Sniff. Sniff in the standard collection. Let's be honest. Let's see if I really like it. Fuck, that smells really good. That smells really, really good. Ooh, revive moisturizing cream. You know I'll need that. You know I'll need it. Oh, it checked out. Bitch, me. When I'm sleeping all day. Checked the fuck out, babe. Oh my god, I love them so much. They're too nice. Like, this is too fucking nice. This is too nice, but like, not, but like it's too nice, but like the Lemmy, you know I love Lemmy. Who doesn't love Lemmy? You know, who doesn't? This is not just a bathtub. This is like a monsoon. You guys, this robe they gave me has to be the nicest robe I've ever felt in my fucking life. Just my view. I'm sorry, just the view. I'm not gonna get over this shit, and I shouldn't, you know? I think it'd be fucking weird if I was like, like, I'm gonna say this the whole vlog because the vlog is about embracing my influencer core, but like, it'd be fucking weird if I was like, 
obviously it should be like staying up a standard for free like that'd be fucking weird so that's just like 100 percent not my boy my only concern is like it's hot as dick in here this is crazy to me like i've only been influencing <laughs> I've only been an influencer for like six months now, but I have only been an influencer for six months. So like, this is absolutely nuts to me. This is fucking crazy. Oh, I've been waiting for you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Say hi to Vloggy. Come look, come look. Oh my well, God. Wait, no. Gorge. <laughs> look over here. Shut the front door. No, look over here. Come on, Skyline. Come on, the water. Wait, this shut is the fuck gorgeous. up. Not the moe. I know, I've been waiting for you to come to open it. I've been wanting to open it for a minute. I've like Good literally. Nails. Don't look, don't talk to me about those fucking nails. Dave. Why? Because Tim, it took you seven hours to get here. Oh, sorry, nails. yeah. I didn't mean to trigger you like that. No, yeah. I literally came. Mind you, I'm in the tub, of course. Like, I, because like, a bitch has to break in a bath, Tim. I think I'm gonna take five baths by the time we leave tomorrow. <laughs> also, our checkout's not till noon. Oh. I know, that's which nice. is really nice. And he's like knocking on the door, and I'm like, one second. And then I was like, fuck it, like I'm in the bath, like I just have to put a towel on and open the goddamn door. Mm -hmm. And he has this giant bag for me. And it's like Livy, it says Livy on it, and I'm like, what is it? They gave me so much shit. Hoodie. Oh. The candle, the collection, all of it. I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god. I know, I literally am like, this is the most insane thing ever. Be careful. I was a server. Wait, 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 I haven't recorded it yet. I'm going. What, what angle do you want? Just get a good angle, Tim. I'm stressed. Okay, go. If two people were to be a mental breakdown, it would be Tim and I fucking combined. Like, talk about like, Mad yeah, TVs. I'm spiraling. No, we're spiraling, the both of us, but we look really good. For people who are spiraling, like, let me tell you, I've never looked better during a mental fucking breakdown. Anyways, um, we're late. I don't even know where the fuck we go. Tim thinks he's pale. I, what a great just feel. Do I look pale? Wait, wait, let me show them the view first. Okay, go ahead. What were you saying? Do you look pale? I look pale. No, on camera you look great. Okay. Photo okay. Real life. No, in real life you look fine. But you need to get the shoes on. Tim, I need fucking photos. This is no joke. I'm an influencer and I'm gonna get a photo. Guys, I'm so sorry we abused you. Oh, guys, we're back. My titties are showing. <laughs> na, 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 na. Look at our view. Tim, get out of the way. <laughs> Timothy. Look at okay. the view, guys. So we said. Look at the view. You guys, mind you, I think this had to be. Wait, okay. My nipples are come sit on the bed so we can open this with them. The top? They're expensive, so you better. <laughs> Timothy. Timothy John. Did it. Oh, and do you want to know? Wait, wait. I like said to them, I was like, his name is Timothy John because I knew that's what you would want. Thank you for making the launch of our newest collaboration, Private Hour, is such a special one. Here are a few of our favorite products to keep the mood going. We hope you love it, the Sniff Team. Okay, Rose. We love the Sniff Team. Okay, so we have matching robes. Matching robes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come on, socks. Come on, socks. Custom socks and a... This <laughs> your... Okay. Wait, I didn't get socks, by the way. Yes, you did, they were in there. Oh, I was hoping I would get a mask. Checked I a out. Mask. Checked out. I needed a mask. Ooh. Ooh. Courtney. Courtney. Let me sleep. Well, Let Simon me sleep. too. So no, Simon. More importantly, Simon. More importantly, Simon. Simon like you guys, it was skincare. such a cute little like intimate dinner. And it's it, giving skincare. It's skincare. Okay. And it was just such a cute intimate dinner. We were all together. And everyone was fine. And I honestly think there was maybe 15 of us max. Candle. Candle. That is why we're here. This is the reason we're here is because of the uh, uh, what the fuck skincare. is it called? Collaboration between Standard Private and hours. Sniff. God, it's so gorgeous. And whatever this is, the bottle opener? Yeah. Yeah. So the whole thing is like. Wait, standard. I can't wait to get into this robe. Get into the robe. Get into the robe so yeah, you can be with robe. me on the robe. Ugh, I have been like meaning to text so and many I've been people. Wanting to get a, I've been wanting to buy a face mask as fuck. Yeah, I'm so glad we, we could do those tonight. It's not a. 
It's not a skincare mask, it's a sleep mask. Oh, I, but they, we also have a mask. Did we, I don't think I got a mask. I think I just got a skincare. I think it's lotion, and I think if you put anything, your mind to it, it could be a mask. You're so true when you say that. Not my lemmies. Don't break it like that, Livia. I'm Livy, not Livia. This is like fucking chalk if you don't have water. Yeah, they do dry out your mouth as fuck. I mean, like, nobody wanted to go to Le Bon. Tim was like, guys, mind you, everyone's like, all right, it's a Monday night, girls. Everyone's like, all right, like, we're saying our goodbyes, and Tim's like, let's go to Le Bon. Let's go out. Let's I just don't want to go out. I'm like, you guys. It's just so convenient that Le bon is literally in this building that we're staying in, you know? No, I know. I think this is us calling it a night. But you'll see us tomorrow morning, because we have the room till noon. So we have to actually talk about what we're going to be doing. No, we didn't wake up at a reasonable hour. And yeah, like eight. Room. Yeah. No, not that early. <laughs> <laughs> not that early. <laughs> Wait, give me the cards you brought, please. I know, I didn't even want to stop us. We will see you guys tomorrow morning. Guys, would you believe me if I said it was seven in the morning? Not even yet. It's six fifty-five. Zed up bed. Zed it. Zed it. We're not awake by choice. Let me tell you, we just could not sleep. I think it's the espresso teenies. Tim had probably seventeen for the both of us. <laughs> I had like no. I was telling Tim was like I had a full one, which like is enough to put me in cardiac arrest, and I had. Three glasses of wine. Tim, I never drink that much. Like, Yeah, I was proud of you. Thank you. You're welcome. But right now I'm starving. And I just, here's my issue. is like, I want to go back to bed, but I don't think we will be able to. I'm not alive, awake, alert, enthusiastic. I know. And the thing is, it's like we're going to crash at like 2 p.m. today, but that's fine. I have to work. We have roll event tonight. The video doesn't end here, guys. <laughs> I have another influencer event. I'm so excited. <laughs> 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 in reality what I would love to do tonight is just go get a massage <sighs> and like we that do have to prep for the nice. podcast and by we I do mean like me mostly but I want to run the topics by you as well guys Tim's coming on the podcast tomorrow woke up I like shot up at 6 30 in the morning to edit photos of myself and I think that's the most insane You're thing so I've special. ever done Go. My toxic trait is like I think I've never looked better than I do in this moment. Did I not take my makeup all the way off? Because I do look phenomenal. I'm not looking my best. No, I sent my mother a photo of you sleeping, and she was like, "He's gorgeous even when he sleeps." So I was like, oh, "I know, I know." I like man. looked over you in the middle of the night, and you looked like this. You were like porcelain, like. <laughs> Can you call the front desk and ask if they have a sauna? No. That's our little update vlog, is that it's 7 in the morning. For no goddamn reason. Woke up, edited my photos. Once I get a coffee in my system, it's endgame and we're up for the day. And I'm going to be like, ah. Oh, no, 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 no. Good morning. <laughs> oh, my hoips. She's so Why are we awake? Why are we awake right now? And that we're gonna over Tim being like, wait, we're not going out. Everyone's like, it's a Monday, Tim. <laughs> Tim, it's a Monday. We, like, you mean, mean, you not, mean going not going out? Going yeah, you're like, what do you mean we're not going to Levi? Like, it's right next door. And you're like, Livy, come on. Like, Livy, come on. And I was like, Tim, everyone seems to be heading out. Oh, I love just being in a bed. This is my worst nightmare right now. Still alive, but I'm barely breathing. Yeah, I needed this. This is definitely worth the money. It's one me dollars. <laughs> Take my fucking picture and now you can vlog. I was in the middle of it and then you fucking set up camp. 
Right, directly in my photo shoot vibes. God. We're checking out soon. And by soon, I do mean 10 minutes, so. Sad, I'm a sad girl. I'm mad because what I'm actually genuinely upset about is that we had to come back and nap. <laughs> we decided to wake up at five in the fucking morning and get no sleep. So I'm not just the universe. I'm not me having to say goodbye to this view. The view is the hardest goodbye. Hey guys. All right, clearly we're done with the staycation. Honestly, probably the best event. It was very intimate. It was so fun. I loved every single moment of it. Sniff candles. Absolutely, I they smell so fucking good. And it was just such a gorgeous, stunning event. And I loved how um, <clears throat> intimate it was. I was like, wait, I'm cooking, by the way. So that's why you're going to hear me like back and forth. And honestly, just fucking phenomenal. Like, phenomenal. Absolutely insane. So grateful to have went. So much fun with Tim, too. Like, <sighs> but let me tell you, it... I'm getting my ass fucking handed to me, babes. Like, I don't know why I booked my schedule so fucking much this week. Like, I literally don't know why I did this to myself. Like, I don't think I've gotten a full night's sleep in so long. And, like, I am burnt the fuck out. And I have an event tonight. And then we have the pod tomorrow morning. And I have, like, not tomorrow morning, it's, like, tomorrow evening. And then I have a hair appointment Thursday, and then I have um, one of my really good friends coming in Thursday as well, so we're doing a dinner, and then Friday morning, that's it, like I'm in Chicago. I'm in fucking Chicago, Friday morning. And I'm starting to feel the overwhelmingness of this all. I'm like, I'm, like, I'm gonna have a fanny, but it's fine. I'm gonna like breathe through it, actually. I think it might just be the coffee I drank this morning. And I haven't really eaten much, but... Like, I don't, social battery non-existent at this point. Would love to cancel for that event, but we just confirmed. Like, I, my team confirmed that this morning. I will say I haven't getting fire Instagram photos. And if you know, you know. If you saw them, you saw them. And you're a real one if you have. But I need to eat my little chicken salad and head to Pilates. Hopefully Pilates makes me feel better. Because your girl needs it. Just tired. I'm drained. And then I'm really gonna try my best to just like not speak to anybody the next couple days. I'm not kidding you. It just do solid core, which made me feel a lot better, like mentally. I did decide also I'm not going to the event. Okay, I think one of the most influencer things about me is being okay with not doing things. Like I don't have to. Okay, not like one of the most influencer things about me, but I think it's important to remind myself that I don't have to go to absolutely everything. And I, I don't know what it is about me, but I will feel guilty sometimes not going to an event I said I was going to go to. But at this point, you guys, I'm just so fucking tired, like exhausted to a different degree. So I'm glad that I'm like taking this night off for myself, just relaxing a little. Good morning to all the girls, boys, and bitches of the world. Today is the last day of our influencer Pluenza. Pl that, that like literally wasn't even a word living. Today's agenda, I just did Pilates. It's 10.30 in the morning. I'm filling out forms because I have to go get my pussy checked. Uh, so what I mean by that is, oh, uh, this annoys me every single time. What I mean by that is... I'm going to the gynecologist because Livy fucks losers and the last loser I did fuck. Also, I'm like really, you know, I'm going to rant. I'm really annoyed because everyone thinks I'm this massive whore. And I don't know where that, oh my God. I talk about sucking dick on the internet a couple times, okay? I talk about the best sex I've ever had in my life, what, a couple times on the internet? Doesn't mean I'm out here fucking and sucking these random ass motherfuckers like it's my job. Let's be for real right now. So, I was just recently annoyed because I was like, guys, everyone thinks I'm a whore. And that's just annoying to me. Because, like, especially when my body counts, like, you know, mm, zip it. And I'm just, like, not out here fucking and sucking like that. Like, I honest to God wish I was. And maybe I should be. Mm. This is how it goes. Every six months, I find a random man. <laughs> 
I fall absolutely in love. He stays in my bedroom for about a month. We just, we fall deeply in love. We fuck, we do the whole thing. We do all of it, six months, right? I mean, for a month. We end things out of nowhere. I get love bombed. I realize my test in this life is like, bitch, how many times are you gonna accept this love bomb and think it's a good thing? Like, how many times is you gonna do that? It's like kind of embarrassing. It's like kind of embarrassing that you're like so stupid when it comes to love bombing. Anyways, so my last lover, obviously I let him hit it raw. Duh. And so now I'm like, great, gotta go get STD checked. Even though he was like, you're the only one I'm sleeping with and you're like only thing like da 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 it's like shut the fuck up loser right now gotta go get that pussy check per anyways and then I'm coming home recording tiktoks and then going to the podcast Tim and I are filming in the studio together I'm excited you guys are gonna see the studio but right now I'm filling out my pussy forms and <laughs> yeah Ooh, I'm glad I didn't go to that event last night. I was a tired bitch. Ready for the podcast. I'm wearing just like a little pink dress. Let me show you the pink dress um, for today's pod. I love the hair. I've been loving this like, straight hair. Like That's why I'm like, oh, do I want to chop off my hair tomorrow? I think I'm going to miss the long bitch that it is. But have to do that. Um, we're headed to the podcast to see Tim. Do we think he's going to be late? I've literally said a million times, if you're late, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Like, I rent this studio. I pay to rent this studio. Babe, <laughs> show fucking face. But we're going to head there after I take photos of myself. Because I'm embracing my influencer card. No, I would take photos of myself regardless. I don't give a fuck. Out of the vlog. I'm having a panty. Don't film me right now. <laughs> Tim is just going through it. Oh my god, I hate this fucking city. <laughs> no, uh, I agree, I agree. We'll just sit down in this, but I do need you to sit for a second in the studio because he has to mark you. Can I fix myself first? No, you have to go straight to this because you have to get a key in the studio regardless. And then he'll mark, but I'll just mark with my water bottle. Okay. The unprofessionalism right now is absolutely absurd. Listen here now? I don't know, I'm so torn. <laughs> I don't know which one I want to sit I feel like I should be the one sitting here. But at the same time, I don't love the way that this is like. Hey guys. I don't know. We did just finish the podcast. How are you feeling? I'm feeling inspired and feeling motivated. It's so funny because, like, cut to Tim 10 seconds ago, like, before the podcast, an hour ago, and it's so like, so uh, I loved it. I thought that was a great episode. I think it might be one of my favorites ever. Shut this fucking door. And guys, this is Tim. I'm signing off. So Sorry, it's like, Sissy's being fake. She's saying she's not coming. Now. Why? Exactly. Say I'm gonna get charged. That was it for me embracing my influencer core this week. Mm. You guys saw a lot of Tim this week and a lot of me. I hope you guys uh. loved it. Doesn't it feel good? All right, you guys. I'll Hi, guys. see you every. You. I'll see you every Monday. I love you, bitches. Bye.